to give your opinion on PTTA testing. 36-year-old, 19 above grade embryos. Above grade embryos? That's the vocabulary used. I don't know. I guess better than average. I don't know. Like yeah. Above grade C? I don't, I don't know. I mean, over 36, PGTA probably has significant advantages. You probably end up doing fewer transfers. It'll cost you less. This is based on current evidence that's available. Um, and it's a shorter time to pregnancy. So those are all studies that have been demonstrated. Richard Scott's done a lot of that data and analyzed it or his group. So I'd be in favor in that particular situation. Having said that, what is really important for you is to also recognize that there are, I don't want to say gaps or errors, but there are things that you need to know about your uh, PGTA result that are important. So for example, in the past, it used to be abnormal, normal, use the normals, but now abnormal has like 10 different categories, right? So you've got low level mosaic with segment. You've got low level mosaic whole chromosome. You've got high level mosaic segmental, high level mosaic whole chromosome. You've got aneuploid segmental, aneuploid whole chromosome, and then you have complex abnormal. So there's like all these subcategories, all but one of those is actually transferable. So the only ones we don't transfer are whole chromosome aneuploids. Everything else actually has a chance. So I do think it's very valuable but I think we lost our way or didn't know enough when we first started doing this to know which ones we should and should not be transferring. A euploid has much better chances than a segmental aneuploid does. There's no question. But the segmental aneuploid still has a chance. So it's a reasonable thing to consider. TikTok, unfortunately, kicked you 